Uh, I want to just jump right into talking about religion. I want to talk yeah. about the different <laughs> faiths of the world and what they believe. Okay. And uh, what I what I want to say is is that like when we're talking about Judaism versus Islam, okay, um, and we're talking about the differences <laughs> between the belief systems in place there, yeah, you know, the 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 backdrop of their culture is right. what I'm saying. Uh-huh. You know, yeah, um, is is that you know. Is, is 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 that here's here's where I start to think to myself, I think I most align myself with the Christian values. Um, OK, is is that, you know, Judaism is is firm on the original text. Yes. Right. OK. Um, and and, you know, Christianity is is firm on uh, the the direct sequel. You know, and 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 Islam has the same sort of thing going on there. Right. And then Mormonism is burial at sea. Okay. I'm a Bioshock <laughs> right. 2 guy. Right. Yeah. And 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 that's <laughs> that's basically what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. yeah. The fucking Bioshock 2 is like the is the Catholicism of Bioshocks? Is Bioshock that what the metaphor is? I'm saying that Bioshock <laughs> is it, no it's not to say like Catholicism. It's it's any Christian faith. Bioshock 2 is the salvation. Right. Okay. It's the better gameplay. <laughs> Right, so Bioshock One is Judaism. Bioshock, Bioshock One, Two is Christianity, like Christian. and then Bioshock, like Infinite, is like Mormonism, or like no, no, no. Bi- <laughs> Burial at Sea is Mormonism. Burial at Sea is Mormonism. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to call any religion Bioshock Infinite. Okay. Yeah. Other no. than Mormonism. Other than. Mor- I feel <laughs> yeah, like it would right. be disrespectful to call any religion Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, I feel like Infinite works for Mormonism, actually. You know, if that's that's all right. Well, because it's like this weird, like sort of like kind of adjacent reinterpretation that's fair of like the same story you're right you know what i mean yeah you're right that, that's you know what i would say it's it's more like um i would say Bur- burial at sea is like the westboro baptist church Bur- burial at sea is those like guys who dress up like knights in Times square right <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's, like, that, that's burial at sea yeah um <laughs> And uh, which actually makes sense because they also take a big shit all over the original and Jewish text. Yeah. That's that's there we go. Right, Burial at okay, Sea takes a okay. big shit all over Bioshock One, and those dudes in Times Square in the night costumes fucking hate Jews. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's it. <laughs> okay. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can <laughs> I can get behind all of that. Um, I don't know where I don't. You know what? I was going to say I don't know where Islam fits into that, and I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't think, I think it's best you don't. I think yeah, I think that's for the best. <laughs> you know, because because the other things I can talk about. You know, I feel like the other ones. Yeah. You know, it's like with uh, with Judaism, that's my people. I can say whatever the fuck I want. With Christianity, I'm punching up. With Mormonism, nobody gives a shit. Right. You know, <laughs> that's so I can I can say whatever I want, whatever I want about those. Now, whereas I don't I don't want to I don't want to you know offend. Um, yeah, Islam is like prey, the game prey, <laughs> where it's like it's like Bioshock, but I haven't played it, so I'm not gonna form an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's you know? pretty much it. <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah, that's that's a good point. Um, uh. <laughs> I feel like there was another thing that you said you wanted to launch into. <laughs> um, oh, some something else. Uh, I feel like you mentioned that you had something you wanted to jump into earlier. Yeah. Um, you know what? I I I I'm having trouble recalling. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. <clears throat> I started thinking too much about the comparisons between the various religions of the world and yep. the different iterations of Bioshock <laughs> and I got stuck. <laughs> you just kind of got locked into that. I'm locked of into it. I'm just like thinking about the ways in, in, in which uh, Christianity uh, is, is Bioshock too. And Judaism is the original Bioshock. And, well, um, well, can I tell you something? Mm-hmm. You're, you're, I'm looking at you and your mustache is starting to come in a little bit. Yeah. And it's really doing wonders for your thinking face. Oh, thanks, man. You were kind of like making sort of like a kind of like a, a kind of like a tight jawed sort of. Yeah. And it was just like the mustache was really adding to it, you know? 
And it's just a hint now. I it's just kind say, of it's just sort of I like just an impli- it's it's not a lot, but it's kind of an implication of like the kind of contemplative man that you are growing into. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sign of things to come. Right. Yeah. Right. It's. Um, I looked at you and I saw some fucking some hair on your upper lip, and I'm like, ah, oh, he's growing up so. Fast. I was going to say you're watching me grow <laughs> up. <laughs> um, I got recognized at a Starbucks yesterday. Ah, oh, sick dude! I got recognized at the Starbucks in my hometown. And it was it was rough. Like um, the, the town we're in currently, or you yes, like your home? The, okay. the town I'm in currently. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was very sleepy. I hadn't had my coffee yet. I was struggling, um, and I ordered my coffee the way I like it. And I told the barista my name, and she was like, "Are you a musician?" And I was like, "Yeah." And she was like, "I thought so. I wasn't going to say anything, but you're Will Wood, aren't you?" And I say, "Yep." And she said, I, I knew it when you came in the door. I just I just didn't know. I just I just wanted to be sure. Anyway, have a good day. You can go pick it up on the on the, on the counter. And I was like, well, I, got, I haven't paid yet. She's like, don't. And I was like, fucking Christ, don't do this. I don't want to be the fucking. No, no, I'm going to pay for my. Let me pay for my fucking coffee because I've because n- stop. <laughs> just, <laughs> just 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 don't. I don't know. That's that's like. I don't know. Is it weird that I don't want this person to pay for my coffee? That that bothers me. I'm like offended. It's just like it bothered me. It made me feel like I don't know. I don't deserve this. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> and, and and we're not. And it's like I didn't do anything here. You just you just showed up and went. I've seen that face. <laughs> on on a computer screen before probably yeah they were like here's a five dollar drink and you were like no no I am but a pauper's boy <laughs> <laughs> and it's like I am I just <laughs> I'm not worthy of it I just didn't want to like you know I don't know I I just I'm I'm implying that I was like offended by this or I felt like it was rude or something yeah, it was no, no it was I, a sweet gesture I, I understand I understand the feeling though yeah I just didn't want to be like it felt like I was like it just felt aggrandizing in a way. You know, and I, I, I didn't love that. And sometimes it's been happening more and more recently, which is kind of freaking me out because I, 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 I nobody's ever heard of me. And yet people keep recognizing me. I feel like you're supposed to have like way more monthly listeners on Spotify before you can't go anywhere. Right, like the statistics don't work out yet, and well, also because it's been like months since you put out any music. Uh, yeah, like it's been almost like a year. You soft retired, like, mm-hmm. like it's it's a little it's a little strange. Um, but anyway, the um, it's really interesting this witch's curse that you've been put under. Yeah, where it's like you keep falling into su- like incredible success, like like weird success, like haven't done any <laughs> month in work in any mo- any work like, in months, like will and are making more money than you ever have success, but just in like in the most like specifically angled way that makes it impossible for you to appreciate or enjoy it. I, like, I don't know what it is. I know. I don't know what's it's happening, like... and and like. And and it's it's great, and I I love that people are listening to the stuff that I make, and it's 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 all well and good, and it was a very cool experience running into somebody who uh, recognized me from my work. But at the same time, I hadn't like slept so good the night before, and I yep. hadn't had my coffee yet. Right, and you don't talk to me till I've had my coffee, right. especially you if always, you're just some non-famous. Well, it's all, <laughs> why you always go, wear that shirt all over the place? It right. says, don't talk to me till I have my coffee. <laughs> And, and then I, you ha- you and then as soon as you have coffee, you sprint into the bathroom and do a quick change. Right, exactly. You, know? <laughs> you, you carry two shirts on your person at all times. Yeah, um, and that's why I was wearing my sunglasses and lowered baseball cap. Right, so that no but nobody would recognize me when I went to go get my coffee this morning. Yeah, <laughs> um, and you know. Um, <laughs> and I wear that same don't talk to me till I've had my coffee t-shirt every day because that way the photos aren't yeah. worth as much when the paparazzi right. come around. It says don't talk to me unless uh, don't talk to me. I uh, don't talk to me until I've had my coffee or you're very rich. Yes. You know, that is what it says. <laughs> don't talk to me until I've had my coffee or you have over 1 million followers on Instagram. Exactly. That is yeah. what it says. <laughs> um, and, um, and in but, that moment, neither of those things were true. Exactly. This fucking barista. (laughs) (laughs) This filthy coffee girl. (laughs) (laughs) This B 
bean wench. <laughs> Silence, bean wench. <laughs> <laughs> Had Brew my beans, wench. Had the unmitigated <laughs> gall to look me in the eye, first of all, and secondly, then say, with her mouth into my ears, aren't you William Wood? A- aren't I? As if it weren't obvious. For- firstly, yes. <laughs> Why make a question of it? Who are you? And that barista? Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta got always be careful about who you're talking to. You I never sh- know. And I shouted at this barista, <laughs> and she collapsed on the floor. <laughs> and then they overturned Roe v. Wade. Yep. <laughs> I hadn't had my coffee, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg <laughs> recognized me at Starbucks, and, and I couldn't handle yeah. my shit, and she died. <laughs> <laughs> My celebrity status killed <laughs> Ruth Bader Ginsburg because <laughs> she was so disappointed. <laughs> she was so hurt by her idol's right. callousness. Yeah. <laughs> she, you know, she's picking up shifts in Starbucks. She's not doing great. No, you know? <laughs> <She's> <laughs> <so much. laughs> I'm so sorry to all the women of America. <laughs> it's my fault. I let the fame get to my head, and I killed RBG. But anyway, um, so this 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 girl asked me if I was Will Wood, and I know I, I I didn't want, and she offered to pay for my. Well, she didn't offer; she just went ahead and paid for it. And you know, I thought to myself, what would Keanu do, right? Because the second I enter any kind of interaction with a fan on the street, my first thought is, what would Keanu? It's do? It's a good instinct. Yeah. Well, because he has. He has such such unbelievable PR. It's weird. Right. <laughs> like, it's weird how good his PR is. Like it's fucking suspicious. Well, I think it's just cuz like he he like he all he just kind of makes the right move in those situations. Uh, yeah. Like. Yeah, he, he sure sure does. does like I think he has like very good instincts on how to be a good guy cuz I think he just might kind of be one. You know, you know, well, that's, but that's you don't that's know you, that. that's what they want you to think. Well, that's <laughs> like, certainly that's... what they want you to think. I'm not saying that like they're not allowed to want you to think that or that it's not true, but they do want you to think it. So I thought to myself, what would Keanu do? Yeah, and I thought Keanu would accept the free coffee but give a generous tip. And so I tried to smoothly give a generous tip, put a big bill in the jar. But I had to do it smoothly. I had to do it quickly. And I had to do it while letting the next person go in front of me online. And, you know, and I was sleepy. And the first bill that was available in my wallet, and the only one I could access with one fell swoop, uh-huh. was $100. That's what Keanu would do. I guess I figured that <laughs> too. Yeah. And, like, and so... That's what... If Keanu, if you offer Keanu a free coffee, he's tipping you $100. Well, you know... He's probably tipping you like $1,000, but like what... You know, you're not you're not Keanu. Well, I'm not Keanu. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and like, you know, I, I genuinely do feel to myself that like to a certain extent, when I meet a fan, I have a little bit of like... Responsibility is a strong word, but less like a responsibility to give them a positive memory and more like... And it's a good opportunity to give somebody a positive memory. Right. Because that interaction means a lot more to them than it could possibly mean to me. Yeah. And so, like, I want to make sure that they have, like, they can go, like, that was really cool, you know? And so I was like, all right, I'll do the cool one. But, like, also I was like, no, but this is going to seem showy. This is going to seem like I'm trying to show off or something. You know, like, yeah, that's right. I'm the I'm the guy you I'm the famous guy who walked into your Starbucks and yeah. I'm throwing down <laughs> yeah. big bills. Here's here's a quick grand, sweetheart. Don't spend it all in one place. Toss my fucking Burberry over my shoulder and walk <laughs> these Gucci's <laughs> right. over to the other side of the counter. <laughs> it's like fucking. I don't want to make some big show and uh, and so like I tried to like quietly and like quickly and without looking do it <laughs> and walk away at the same time while sleepily kind of tripping over in my own feet and immediately <laughs> barreling into a child <laughs> <laughs> just trying to be like a cool generous celebrity just, and accidentally assaulting a small boy uh, yep <laughs> just <laughs> i just immediately i went for, i i yeah no it's okay it's already paid for it's ridiculous Soup. 
bang, <laughs> immediately beamed a little kid with just my like, body. Just imagine just the way that like you fall. It just looks like you backhand him across the face. <laughs> it looks like you like slip on you. You fucking a, a person recognizes you at Starbucks. You slip them a hundred dollar a hundred dollar bill. With the look on your face that, in your mind, is probably, like, trying to, like, be inconspicuous, but to her was probably, like, oh, he's being, like, all sly and stuff. Like, he's being cool about giving a $100 bill. And then you smacked a child. You struck a child. <laughs> like, I, I, I almost hurt this little girl. <laughs> I just, I tripped over and I almost knocked her over and she almost knocked into the little girl that she was walking with. And then I had to be like, oh, I'm so sorry. And then they had to be like, oh, no, I'm sorry. And then I, I spun around and I'm f- fucking with my limbs flailing all Captain Jack Sparrow style. And <laughs> fucking then immediately without making eye contact with anybody sat in a corner and looked at my phone. Yeah. And the, and the, and the fucking barista was like, this went exactly how I thought it was going to uh, go. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, this is the most on brand thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow. He really this is, this is, this is so like... quirky. <laughs> It was. He the, did a little Jack Sparrow thing and everything. He, uh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! And and when I got my coffee, I just I just thank you, and then I left. Yeah, and now and you're never going back to that Starbucks again. I bet. No, I am. Okay. Yeah, it's the it's the one that's right around the corner. Yeah, but you're gonna do it in. Uh, in seven hours worth of advanced prosthetics. That's right. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna yeah. go in looking like fucking Hellboy. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, just... <laughs> it's like it's not like a spy thing. You're not like an old man. You're just like a sp- you're just a Guillermo del Toro monster. <laughs> you're the fucking eye. You're the fucking like hands creature from Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> Oh, Has man. I love that idea. Do you want to do the podcast? Let's get into the meat and the bones of this incredible podcast yes, experience that we do for all of you. Let's skip the meat. Let's, let's skip get the right, meat. Into, right the into the bones. bones. Let's <laughs> drill in. Let's fucking drill into the fucking bones of this and suck out the marrow. That <laughs> creamy marrow right out, out of this mm, podcast yeah. rib cage. Let's fucking do that. Mm-hmm. Maybe leave some of the meat, but just so the meat that's mm. like right, this is like the fucking T-bone part of the steak. Yeah. This is the part that's right on the bone mm-hmm. so that it, all that fucking bone juice gets into yeah. that meat. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, I like that idea. And then it's, the it's, leftover... It's, there is some meat, but it, this is a bone forward experience. Oh, it's definitely bone forward. Yeah, for I, sure. I, for I sure, like to live sure. my life bone forward. You know, right? I I like to go bone, <laughs> bone forward, forward into the light. and 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 so we take that any leftover meat we have, we just rub it against our skin. Yeah, yeah dude. Because it's good for your pores. Yeah, I've heard to that. rub meat grease I've heard, I've heard all over your skin. Get fucking raw chicken. Hey <laughs> everyone, <just> like... <laughs> <If> you... <laughs> hey everyone listening to this show. Go rub raw chicken all over your... It's good for your pores. Yeah, well, Welcome, everybody, to Life <laughs> in the World <laughs> to Come! It's an advice show where we answer your questions about surviving the apocalypse. I'm Baby Skinner. I'm Skinner Baby. <laughs> cool, man. You've I'm been glad we have fighting that. about that for, like, a couple weeks now. Yeah. You've been saying my nickname is too close to yours, but I'm sticking <laughs> my guns. <laughs> You came up with yours first, but I like it more. Well, you know, it's that's I'm I well at least I'm glad we were able to get like we're both like kind of halfway happy here. I think. Yeah, I think so. Because I really wanted to be Baby Skinner. Fuck what your nickname is. I just I like Skinner Baby. You can call yourself whatever you want. You know. Let's answer some questions. Let's answer some questions. Let's get into it. I should probably bring up questions. Uh, that's that would be a good idea. Excellent place. To you and uh, you uh, hit the Gmail. I'll hit the Discord. Okay. You know, I was being kind of trepidatious about a possible segment we could do this episode of the podcast. Uh huh. Because I'm I'm new to the art. Right. And I'm I'm not that confident yet. Uh huh. But I feel I feel like we should I feel like we should do it. Okay. I feel like we should just kind of fucking go for it. I have a goddamn tarot deck next to me. That's right. I it, fucking four and a half hours ago, I received a tarot deck in a mail, and I skimmed the handbook, and uh, they have the meanings of all the cards printed on them. So we're gonna fucking straight up do tarot this episode. I think. I think that's a great idea. I've been, uh, you know, I'm on. I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing a little sober October. 
you know, I'm no longer doing uh, crack cocaine, uh, crack cocaine meth. Oh, I got confused because I was like, it's November. Well, and yeah, we just talked about how much weed you smoked. The well, other exactly. Day. Well, I was doing exa- well during sober October. I was getting f- I was too fucking shit faced to know what month it was. Oh, OK. <laughs> but now that October <laughs> is over, I'm, I'm kind of doing sober October retroactively and I'm no longer doing crack cocaine or like or uh, cocaine meth, which is a thing I made where I just kind of mix it together in like a bowl. Um, and then yes. uh, I've, I've, I've stopped wrapping my lips around uh, the exhaust of like a Jeep and then just breathing in until I feel like I'm going to pop, um, which has been good for my health. Yeah, I can like sounds... see again regular yeah. now. Yeah. But I but the visions have not been coming as easy. Mm. So I, I'm, I'm so I've, I've purchased a tarot deck and we're going to see if we can't reactivate some of those psychic sim- synapses. I think that's a great idea. Stuff going again. I think that's a fantastic idea. Right. I think we need to be incorporating uh, a wider variety of the tools that we've learned how to use in order to. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not. D- it's not prestidigit. Prestidigit. Divine. Divine. There we go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The future. Yeah. Right. All right. So let's take. Let's see if I can can't find myself a question. All right. I'm gonna scroll as well. Oh, see if we can get like a really good one that really jumps out. Hey, Crip and Will. Okay. I like the name Crip and Will. The <laughs> problem is like you had another opportunity to make a pun with a gang name in it. You could have been Crip Dunn and I could have been Will Blood. And then we would have had to fight. We and would that would have been great. kill each other in the but, street. Yeah. It's a shame. But Manic Pixie Squirrel Girl says, What will happen to American rock band My Chemical Romance in the world to come? Fearfully, someone also named Will. Okay. So here's how we're going to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put out the cards... And I'm gonna read what they say so that <laughs> I'm gonna read the how how their what their meanings are so that Will can also okay contribute. I have another question lined up for the next one too. Okay, because this is a great question. Okay, so we're doing a very basic tarot spread here, just three cards, past, present, future, and the question is, what's gonna happen to my chemical romance? Yes. All right. First card, present. We have the magician. The magician. Action. Creation. Manifestation. Power, self-confidence, clarity, willpower, skill. That's absolutely undeniable the case of the position that My Chemical Romance has been in since their reunion. I mean, that's I mean, they're they're better than they've ever been. They're more powerful than they've ever been. They certainly are. You know, they've sort of they've they've had all this time to sort of like hone their ability. Yes. Kind of really get into it and mature and, uh, you know, get closer to like. You know, it's, it seems that they have a firmer grasp on what it is that makes their project meaningful. And it seems like they also have a lot more confidence and that they're healthier and more, you know, more in control of the power that they wield. Right. And I have to say that there's that it's it's hard to deny the power in Gerard Way's stage presence as of late. I would agree. I would say that he is quite the magician. I feel <laughs> I would say that, too. <laughs> I see the effect that I, I see the way that you look at him, and it's like that's magic. I will kick your ass. <laughs> I will beat you to death. I will punch you until you die. I will. I will punch uh, you. Look at him with doth one hand, too much. and she then just... I'll punch you with the other hand. And I'll play ping pong with your cheekbones between you know my is, fists you know, and rage. You know how I know it's real is that if it had been, if I had implied you were gay about any other guy, you would have just laughed it off. <laughs> it would have been nothing. And now you're threatening to kill me with a knife. You are in love with this man. <laughs> and how could I not be? <laughs> All right, well, let's get okay. So we have we have we have his present. He's more powerful than he's ever been. He's at Absolutely. the top of his game. Absolutely. His past. We don't need to talk about that, right? The star reversed. Jesus Christ, that's like the eerie. The star reversed. Lack of luck, despair, discouragement, insecurity, self-trust, and disconnection. I mean, so far we actually have a very positive story here. This is a person who has gone from insecurity to security. Well, you know, yeah, I mean, I feel like when they started, they had something to prove, and now that thing is has been proven. And now that they've proven that thing. They're more powerful than they ever have been. I think that that's an undeniable thing. Uh, it, it, it's it's well documented and well known that Gerard struggled immensely with his mental health during the original run of My Chemical Romance. Yeah. I can't blame him. I can't imagine how hard it was to be Gerard Way during that time. My heart goes out to him. But we can see that 
since then, he's come into his own and seems to be much more comfortable on stage and with his role in society and in our culture. Um, and so I would say that the star reversed and all that it implies quite quite strong quite strong we've got a, a strong foundation with a lot of information here that i think from which we can learn quite a bit i think we're ready i think we're ready to finally set. so so now so we've we've we have like we have a firm baseline here yeah we know who gerard way is who he's been now who's he going to be after the bombs drop that's the right. important part justice <laughs> Justice, <laughs> fairness, truth, clarity, equality, balance, cause and effect, law. So Gerard Way is going to be the president <laughs> of the United States. He's going to be the States. president of the wasteland. That's absolutely true. <laughs> He's going to be fucking up there. Fucking God! Imagine, imagine, <laughs> imagine, imagine Gerard Way giving like a Trump style speech, <laughs> just like just like Trump style, like with all like the pomp and circumstance of like a Trump campaign rally. I he like would it. Kill it. Oh, like, he, he would. would fucking destroy it up there. Oh, I'm picturing. I think it's like. I mean, yeah. <laughs> a, a Trump speech has big House of Wolves energy. <laughs> Yeah, dude. There's a there's a <laughs> lot there. There's a I I think that there's Yeah. Yeah, no there's I I look, I can see it already. My vision is becoming clearer and clearer with each passing moment. Right. I am s currently seeing him standing proud in a cheerleader's uniform atop an <laughs> enormous pile of skulls and fragmented robot chunks. <laughs> yes, dude. And fucking fucking broadsword in one hand, AK forty seven in the other, guitar slung across his back. Yeah, and he's got more hands now because Apocalypse, and he's playing that guitar yeah, that's on right. his back. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking sick, dude. And he's got a face on the back of his head too, it's also Voldemort singing. style. <laughs> he's like he. That's what he does. Is like he'll give. He's like he's up on stage giving a speech while like the well like the reverse Gerard Way who lives on his back is like playing a song. Yes, and then when he hits like a big emotional point in the speech, he just spins around and fucking shreds. Yeah. And fires his AK-47 <laughs> in the air. It's so good. And cuts somebody's head off. It's a be it's, it's, it's got a so many arms. <laughs> it's got so many arms. Yeah. We said he had we said we said he had two extra arms, but that was just the beginning. I, I, he's got <laughs> arms coming out of his arms. <laughs> I yeah. just said more arms. I might have, I don't know. <laughs> but like the point is is that he's got arms coming out of his uh, Gerard arms. Gerard Way is like is is like he's got arms at the wazoo. He has got arms for days. <laughs> right. He's got this situation going on where he's got arms growing out of his arms, like like a tree. He is my chemical romance at this point. Oh, Frank everyone Iero. else is dead, but he's just yeah. playing all the instruments. Yeah. It's yeah. incredible to watch. And it's why it was, <laughs> makes him so charismatic and easy, easy to elect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, especially easy to elect when it when he makes it illegal to vote for somebody else. Yeah, exactly. You know. Because he'll be able to enforce that law single-handedly. Right, because of all of his arms. Right. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, like, he's always going to have at least one set left for stabbing. Yeah. You know? And he does a lot of stabbing. Mm -hmm. He's going to be doing so much goddamn stabbing. And his arm, like, again, it's just like arms coming out of arms. So it's just this kind of, like, fractal nest of arms. <laughs> just kind of a rat king of <laughs> arms the size of a state. And somewhere <laughs> within <laughs> this enormous web of arms just, is the is, Akira is, child is, at the center. Just making beautiful music <laughs> <laughs> it's gerard way emerging from a tangled web of arms upon arms he is the law <laughs> he is justice gerard way's body will be planted <laughs> under the ground and his yeah. arm 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 arms right. will be reaching up through holes within every domicile in the nation demanding that you obey his every <laughs> command, handing out notices, handing out uh, uh, decrees, slapping people at their kitchen table from miles away. And they got little mouths in the hands that sing. Yeah, that's you know? true. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fun. <laughs> and that's how he's going to govern. He'll be so powerful. He'll be so powerful, and it'll be a beautiful new age for America. Yeah. Yeah. Be better than Joe Biden. Welcome to the Black Parade. That's right, motherfuckers. By the way, crazy that we got three major arcana right off the bat. What does that mean? Uh these are like the big the big boy cards. Okay. Some some ways of reading them, they like they have their own special role. I as I understand it, again, I learned all of this three and a half hours ago. Uh-huh. But as I understand it, the major arcana represent like 
big kind of life changing events in your life with a minor arcana or more it's kind of like small kind of like like kind of like person based like mm-hmm. I, I guess like one way to think about it and I'm probably butchering this is that like major arcana is like the world affecting you mm-hmm. and the minor arcana is like you know yourself and the people around you affecting you I could be right. totally wrong but that's kind of the impression I've, I've gotten for my three hours of research okay all right yeah. that makes and sense. the fact that we got th- three major arcana is very significant Okay. Which means that this is definitely true. <laughs> right. That is, <laughs> okay. Is like, no, is, that's how that works. Yeah, no, for sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, then. Well, I, tarot, the other thing that they tell you in all the tarot books is that it's extremely interpretive. So, mm. yeah, it's true. Right. <laughs> like, I just, because I fucking said it was. Yeah, you that makes sense. You just kind of make up your own method and it's fine. Well, that's because, you know. It's for charlatans. Right. You know what? I, I, I sent you a text about this. The, the fucking, you know what the most frustrating thing about trying to learn tarot is? What? Everyone on the internet who is teaching tarot believes in tarot. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> it's like, fuck, I don't care how you, like, stop, please stop pontificating about the nature of empathy and tell me what the fucking rules are. Right. Like, it's so. Right. It's like, like, this one video I was watching, like, every 10 seconds, it would just, like, the voiceover, it was like, it was explaining tarot and there was like a voiceover, but like every 10 seconds, it would just like interject a shot of like the girl making the video, just like looking at the camera. Just kind of like, oh. just kind of like, <laughs> like these like weird, just kind of like, weird, like, like nothing to do with what's happening on screen. Just these weird, like just a single image of her being like, mm. and then like, just like horny witch vibes. Yeah. Just like horny witch vibes. That's, that's, and it's like, and, and the tarot vibes. And they never got into just what the rules are. Just like, what do the cards mean? What order do you put them out in? Hmm. And it turns out, like, the, the order that you put them out in doesn't really matter as much. There's, like, a lot of different methods. Okay. We're using the easiest possible method here. Okay. There's more complex ones that I'm going to learn. I love the way you just s- I know. swept well, they're, up they're, those they're, cards. They're very big and very silky, so you can, and I'm on a carpet, so you can just kind of, like... You just did, you did like, the most, like, flourish swoop. Yeah. It, was, it was very yeah. witchy. Dude, you better get a, a big black triangle hat. Oh, I, I probably should. You fucking better. It would be very good. You would be a very good witch. (laughs) (laughs) Whoa. (laughs) ATHE says, Dear Shrimp and Pimp, and I would love to know who's who. Okay, I'm going to shuffle the deck while you ask, because in the book it says I'm supposed to do that. First, I just got to say, I, I gotta ask this person, and I doubt I'll ever read the answer if they answer it somewhere. But which one of us is shrimp and which one of us is pimp? I think it's something for us to fight about amongst ourselves. Well, I don't want to give this person that. We can talk about this later. We can talk about it in private. Yeah, this. Well, I, like once the once the mic's off, we'll like sit down and really hash out which one of us is pimp. Yeah, because I feel like I feel like this might be get it might get kind of heated. Right. Yeah. I feel <laughs> <laughs> it's like. We wouldn't want to, uh, <laughs> like, I feel like, you know, it would be a bad look to have that conversation on mic. Yeah. Because um, we're going to fight. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be there's gonna be harsh words. I'm yeah. going to say some stuff about you I've been holding back. <laughs> 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 like, you're a fucking shrimp. Shrimp, you fucking shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> You fucking shrimp. <laughs> Fuck you, you shrimp. <laughs> the funny thing is that I feel like I am a shrimp more than I am a pimp. So, and I fuck you a know, lot. <laughs> the thing is, like, I feel like I'm more of a pimp than a shrimp, but just by, well, not by much is the thing. <laughs> I feel like the two, like the two, the, the pimp and shrimp sides of me are pretty even with the pimp only just barely <laughs> eking out a victory. And it's hard some days. You know, he's fighting that shrimp off. I feel like the shrimp in me is more just a is is just like a general energy I have. Yeah. Because I don't fuck. But right. the pimp in me like I don't it's just I don't know. It's it's very difficult for me to say. Because I feel like the shrimp is what I identify with, but if I really look at my life, I go, "Man, ah, that guy pimps." Yeah, man. He's pretty pimping. I'm pretty <laughs> pimping. <laughs> But I also I'm also shrimping, you know, mm-hmm. I'm shrimping all over the world. What was the question? Yeah, <laughs> what kinds of things will be mixed? Will blitz Dear shrimp and pimp, 
What kind of things will we be mixing into stew in the world to come? Sincerely, a cool guy. All right. Well, this one's gonna. I'm be hard sorry. To do my terrible. my eyes like just you know just happened to go down to the next question just because it was the next thing. Okay. And Glob Garab called us Glumbo and Glimbus. <laughs> okay. That's, and I feel right. like I know I'm Glimbus. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel like I think I have Glumbo <laughs> energy. <laughs> I feel like if you were to if you were to show somebody pictures of both of us, they'd be like, "Which one of these guys is Glumbo?" <laughs> You'd pick me every time. I think it's like a Kiki and Booba thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like... <laughs> okay. All right. So, what are we doing? Soup. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm losing my mind so much. I don't know what my deal is today, but I'm, I got a case of the giggles, man. And by the giggles, I mean fucking zo- super villain cackles. <laughs> All right, so what was the question? What's soup going to be like? Okay. It's, so we got past, present, and future. For present, this is the current state of soup in America. We okay. have. <sighs> Sorry, we hold have, on. I got to switch gears. Okay. Yeah, this is serious. We're oh, doing we're uh, we're doing an ancient art right now. We're connecting with our ancestors. I need to I need to like calm down. Like my my throat hurts from like laughing so loud. Not even like laughing so hard, but laughing l- l- You ever I don't know, I have like di- multiple different laughs. And there's one that's like a giggle that won't stop, and then there's the fucking cackle that erupts from within me when I really like something <laughs> and I don't like it at all. I don't know I don't think it sounds quite as villainous as you think it sounds okay thank god it is a powerful laugh I don't like that and I don't, I don't know that I, 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 I wouldn't call it jolly like in, in, <laughs> in the in the jolly to Jafar spectrum <laughs> it's definitely closer to Jafar than Santa you know what I mean I but go. like <laughs> there's <laughs> But I wouldn't call it evil, you know. <laughs> I would call that laugh chaotic neutral. <laughs> All right, so soup. Um, the pr- uh, this is actually very poignant, right? So for, I don't. I don't. Know. No, this is serious. For this is just fucking it's pulled together well. <laughs> There's for the president of soup. We have the five of swords reversed. Meaning past resentment, desire to reconcile, making amends, and desire to forgive. Soup ain't what it used to be. <laughs> okay. we, I mean, we used to, uh, back in the day, they knew how to make soup, and now it's just all kinds of bullshit. <laughs> all kinds of weird <laughs> chemicals in the soup. Mm-hmm. It's not up to old standards. Right. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's like, time for soup to improve, I think. I think so, too. I think that's where that's that's the place that we're in, is like soup is, has stagnated. It hasn't changed much in a long time except to decrease in quality. Exactly. It's it, it, it's 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 kind of like riding on its on its past accolades. It's resting on its laurels. And it's ready to it's ready. It, I think it's ready to evolve at this point. It, you know? I think it has to. I think it has to evolve. You know, because it's the only thing that's really available to it. Truly. Point canned Other foods yeah. are like sharks right if they don't stop swimming and moving forward they sink yes. and die you know they have to innovate exactly you know yeah. which is why nobody eats peas well in <laughs> yeah dude. <laughs> i don't know <laughs> I just, well in the in on that on that note let's look at the past of soup we have two of- sound off in the comments if you've ever had peas <laughs> you who probably eats said- who eats peas Peas in in the two thousands. I have a big bag of frozen peas in my freezer. Well, I actually, did, put they didn't come from a can. That's true. That's an excellent. That's an excellent point, Will. Yeah, I look so stupid right now. You fucking <laughs> so fucking dumb. goon. So the past of soup, we have the two of wands reversed, meaning pers- uh, personal goals, inner alignment, fear of the unknown, fear of change, playing it safe, lack of planning. I mean, I think this is all a pretty consistent story here. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. It's the two of wands reversed. I was reversed. thinking about peas. <laughs> it's the two of wands reversed, meaning personal goals, inner alignment, fear of the unknown, fear of change, playing it safe, lack of planning. That's the thing is like, look, soup was unchanged for thousands of years. Since yeah. Dawn of man. Yeah. It was just stuff in a stuff with stuff in a bowl, and that's yeah. soup. Yeah. That's what it was. It's all it needed to be. 
And We're talking about stew here. Is there a difference? No. I didn't think I'm gonna so. I'm going to go ahead and be, say no. There <laughs> might be like a connotative one that people like, but like, fuck it. So we have the past of soup with the two of wands, meaning personal goals, goals, inner alignment, fear of the unknown, fear of change, playing it safe, lack of planning. That's one thing. Like, like soups remained unchanged for thousands of years. True. They were exactly as they needed to be. And then yeah. they were thrown into this kind of, this this wild new frontier of canitude. Yeah. Where they, you know, suddenly like these soups will last forever. You can do whatever you want with them. Mm. You can make them all crazy. Add all kinds of fun chemicals in them. Yeah. And and who knows if that's good or bad. We're about to find out. Well, that's the thing the about future. that's like you said lack of planning. Yeah. Soup did whatever. Soup pushed boundaries and moved forward. But you know, Campbell. Yeah. Uh, I lost track of my. <laughs> you just kind of forgot what you were saying. <laughs> just kind of thought about peas a little bit more. Uh, I, I started thinking about like... peas and I started thinking about Jurassic Park. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, because the past, right? I get it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, because. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna hide in this fridge. <laughs> Something's up with me today, man. Um, fucking, what was what was it that I was thinking? It was like the innovation that occurred over the past few years of soup is much like the innovation that led to the tragedies of Jurassic Park. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I think I see what you're getting at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so like, and, and what I'm saying there is that they made too many sequels. Right. Exactly. There's too many sequels to soup. Yes. They got it right the first time. Fuck and then they bit. just started doing like cream of mushroom and it's like Ugh. this is this is the fucking like race for curly's gold of soups. You know, <laughs> like, I like I will I will I will part I will yes and your distaste for cream of mushroom soup for this bit. You know, I don't I'll like do mushrooms, it, but, but most cream soups are good. So it was maybe a bad choice. Fuck What's pea a shitty soup? soup? Pea soup. Goulash. Pea soup. Fuck peas. I've never really had pea soup. Fuck I do pea like soup. peas, but like... <laughs> Fuck peas. I'm a pea guy. <laughs> I know you are. If there's one thing about me, it's that I love pea. You know? <laughs> <laughs> let's look. Let's see Let's see if there is a Dura- Jurassic Park style future for f- soups in okay. the cards. Yeah. Let's see what we got. The Page of Pentacles. Upright. Manifestation. Financial opportunity, skill, development, ambition, desire, and diligence. We're entering an age of soup, people. <laughs> yeah. Soup is going to be the fucking biggest business in the world. It's true. The fucking world is going to be run by soup barons. Well, it makes sense, right? Think of a more apocalyptic dish than stew. Exactly. It's just all the stuff together. <laughs> it, because it's what you could scrounge together right, and put exactly. into water or exactly. some goop. Exactly. There's, there's going to be... You're going to have stuff and you're gonna have liquid and yeah. that's what and, and that's what you got dude and, and you could just have stuff right it, we'd be better with liquid that way you could make it into a single thing right that you exactly. can store in one place and that like you can carry more easily in like a little bucket i mean look do you do you want to have to eat disgusting rotted meat and then drink disgusting irradiated water or would you rather just get them both out of the way at the same time exactly you know what i mean after the bombs drop, soup is going to be, like, the way to eat. Yeah. And that's just going to start culture anew. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be basically, like, you know, once once we're rebuilding the world, which, you know, people will try to do in fits and starts throughout the, the millennia to come, um, rebuilding in new ways or just what whatever, you know, f- forming cultures, um, they'll all be very soup and stew based. Right. And so soup and stew are going to have new progenitors where the cultural knowledge of the current age and past of stew exists Mm -hmm. when people invent stew again, but disappears into distant memory very quickly because there will be no pea soup in the world to come. You know? Incredible. Well, because peas, nobody eats that shit. No. No more pea soup, only pea soup. 
Yeah. Which is just a... It's what you think it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got to explain it. <laughs> Welcome to Life in it's the World to It's a bowl of piss. It's a big bowl of piss. It's just a straight bowl of piss. Yeah, you put some animals you in it. You can put maybe... It, but honestly, that's just... that. Look, every, every you know, town and village has their own variation on the recipe. <laughs> but the, the classic, you know, back how grandma used to make it. It's just straight from the tap. No alterations. And if you want like you a get, little you texture... drink what God gave you. Look, some people, they'll put, they'll put a little sand in it to give it some right. texture right it's like well it's like adding peas to carbonara you know right. what i mean exactly it's like, you, you know. put some sand in your piss right <laughs> and that's like... how you make your pea soup mm-hmm. you know some people make it a little too sand heavy it's just like wet sand that tastes like pea and that's not as good i don't that's like that I, I mean like it's what some people were like raised on and right. so they'll like stand by it but yeah. me you know i'm a classicist mm-hmm. you know i just i like the i like the pure stuff you heard it here tap. you heard it here first folks chris is a classic i love grandma's pea <laughs> 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 All right, how what are we how are we doing time wise? Uh, like we have an answer to this we, question. We have we have room for one more question. Let's do one, but let's, I think only one more. Let's do one more question. All right. Let's see let's 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 tap into the cards once more. Oh I don't like how many uh gifts there are here. You're a popular guy. I don't like it at all. Yeah, people are into it. Oh, this is making me feel weird. Tara, why is Will so popular? Present. Seven of Swords. Upright. Betrayal. Deception. (laughs) Getting away with something. (laughs) Acting Acting strategically. Trickery. Wow. That's your present. I don't like that. I'm not Can we change interpret the subject? That at all. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that out on the table. <laughs> and also remove it from the people. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Past. The Seven of Wands. Challenge, competition, protection, perseverance, defense, maintaining control. That's the least accurate description of my past that I've ever heard. Maintaining control? Mm. Uh, was there an attempt to maintain control? No. I, and I think you're well aware. I don't know. I think the, I think maybe you should maybe accept what the cards have to say here, and then your future. The five of wands reversed, death. No, actually, uh, avoiding conflict, uh, respecting differences, agreeing to dis- disagree, diversity. That's nice. So yeah, <laughs> I feel like that pretty much well, uh, kind gonna... of describes the direction you're trying to head in. My my, it looks like my life is is going to be much more uh, like less complicated. You know? Yeah, it's and kind of and a... and balanced politically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's. I'm gonna shuffle the deck while I read this because that's what you're supposed to do. I'm an attention whore. My self worth is constantly determined by how much people are paying attention to me. In the world to come, how can I ensure I still get my fix of male validation, specifically male validation? Is there any apocalypse equivalent of posting a thirst trap on my Instagram story? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I really hope the cards are polite about this one. <laughs> 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 I'm, I was just trying so hard. Like, I was just sitting here going, like, don't say slide into my DMs. Don't say slide into my DMs. Don't say slide into my DMs. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have past, present, and future. This person, this person is constantly seeking validation, mm-hmm. and they want to know in a post thirst trap world, mm-hmm. how are they going to continue to get that validation in the apocalypse? Okay, so let's take a look at their present. The chariot, upright, movement, progression, integration, determination, willpower, control, direction, departure courage these are all the things that the that the thirst traps are giving you now yes you know what i mean a sense of of yeah a sense of direction and control exactly yeah you know a sense of confidence it, it, it's exactly you have you have a, a a special little switch you can pull in your brain that gives you that release of like of 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 self-worth that you've been trying to get and maybe you become a little bit reliant on that you know yeah. you're looking for alter- alternatives once it's gone Absolutely. but that's where you're at now you know it's working for you it seems like it's according to the cards it seems like it's working for you so far so far so good you know a lot of people a, a lot of people would you know would say that it's unhealthy 
I think for you, it's actually a good thing. You know, Hell yeah. it's a source of confidence. And I think you can own that. There's nothing wrong with posting a thirst trap no. now and again. Yeah. You know, if you if you got it, flaunt it. Yeah. You know, let's take a look at the past. All right. For the past, we have. Ooh, the hermit reversed. Oh, interesting. A lot of major arcana this one again. We have, which is isolation, loneliness. Yeah. Withdrawing, resignation, distance, lost your way. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you 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 hadn't blossomed into this into this beautiful person that you've become now. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You hadn't figured out the, what uh, what what camera setting to use when you're taking your first draft. They just were coming out fucking fugly. If I'm being honest, <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's you really what the progression from from uh, from a uh, hermit reverse to chariot. Is, is is basically learning how to work that fucking camera correctly. Exactly. You know what I mean? Knowing the right lighting, makeup, angles, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because before, up until recently, you were feeling very isolated and alone. And then you learned that you could get that sense of company and attention and remove that feeling of isolation by learning how to take a sexy, sexy selfie. A very sexy selfie. And I've seen them. They're pretty good. <laughs> I don't like that. No. Yeah, no. I already... <laughs> No, I, like... I already did the 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 uh, the the DMs joke. I don't like this. No, I don't yeah, like no. this at all. <laughs> I haven't seen them. You're yeah, ugly. No. You're probably. You I haven't know. seen There's them, no and you're hideous. Knowing. You're we're a gonna, beastly our, you know what, for creature. Our, for our own personal comfort, we're just gonna assume you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Um. Actually. Yeah. Turn over that future card. Let's turn over that future card. Let's see what it's good. So what's so where do we go from here? I feel like I'm already having visions about this. Let's see if it matches up. I we have I feel like the four of pentacles yeah. reversed. Yep. Self worth. Yeah. Uh hustling. Yeah. It's funny that they would put that on no, the tarot I, I, card. They would put I, the word hustling on tarot oh, yeah, card. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Self worth. Hustling. Living oh. beyond means. Yep. Obsession with work. False success. So I'm going to say it now. Do not start the OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean. That is what these cards are I mean, warning like the you. cards are open to interpretation. No, they're not. But, well, I mean, in general, they're supposed to be. But I yeah, feel but like not this, this time. is pretty clear. Yeah, <laughs> like, not this, this time. Is, <laughs> this is kind of incredibly straightforward. So, like, maybe OnlyFans is not the, I guess, I guess what we're saying now is that if you continue along this current path, if you do make the OnlyFans, it's not going to be, yeah, because here's, can you make a, can, on, on OnlyFans, can you make $5 million in a week? Sure. The world's not going to be around another week. That's true. You're going to make $5 million and then the bomb's going to drop and you're going to have 5 million worthless pieces of paper that aren't good for anything but kindling. Yep. You know, you can yep. start a lot of fires. That's about it. Yeah. Don't, don't put yourself through it. You know, it's not going to go well for you. It's going to be bad for your mental health mm -hmm. uh, and it's not going to be of any use to you. So and I think and but in terms of like finding a replacement for that sort of endorphin rush mm -hmm. that that comes with, you know, that that sort of quick burst of validation. Um, I think I think the closest alternative you're going to find is like ascending to godhood. Yeah. Is sort of just like becoming a perfect being. Yeah. Until you're just like floating 10 feet off the ground and glowing with radiant light. Yes. And then everyone's going to look at you and it, part of it's going to be damn sexy. But like right. it's also going to be, you know, in all of their God. Yeah. And it kind of just like cuts out the middleman. Right. You know, it's yeah. just it's it's a it's a more pure experience to be not worshipped for, uh, you know, for 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 aesthetic reasons, but because of your uh, in, innate divine beauty. Right. Yeah. Your I, I, your your uh, godly radiance. Uh, get thee to a nunnery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's really what we're saying. I've been trying so hard to be sex positive this whole question. And we just... <laughs> well, that's your big mistake, Chris. Because sex, sex is, is bad. dangerous and scary. It's bad and harmful. <laughs> And it makes Jesus sad. Become chaste. Get thee <laughs> to a nunnery. And find your inner holy woman. Yeah. And, and explore take a her. bunch of sexy little pictures in those nun costumes. People love that shit on OnlyFans. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or not. Yeah, I didn't like that either. <laughs> 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 I didn't like that. <laughs> 
No, I just mean like you know, get thee to a nunnery uh, because that'll that'll you know, that'll make you uh, chaste as you must be and should be in order to ascend to godhood. Yeah, exactly. And you that's know. how you'll find your your sacred. You self. have to know God first so that you can kill him and take his power. Right. You know. Yes. Exactly. You gotta it's... learn everything you can about the guy straight from the source. And you're not gonna get a chance to get close enough to know him. Right. If you're being all sexy and stuff. <laughs> exactly. Uh, because he hates that. <laughs> no, God is a sex repulsed asexual. Right. Yes. Exactly. God does not like that. No, you have to pretend not to be sexy for yeah. a little bit, just well, long enough to kill God and eat his heart. Now, of course, we did establish already that you are very ugly. Right. So it shouldn't be hard. <laughs> it shouldn't be hard to convince God that you're not sexy. What'll be hard is to convince him that you're not trying to be sexy. That yes, yes. You know. Um. So. You know, get thee to a nunnery, which I think is advice that I would want to give to all of our listeners. It's probably solid kind probably. of just general purpose advice. Yeah. Get thee to a nunnery. Um, find salvation and uh, see the light and you will find that t- the superior gameplay is in the sequel. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or I don't know, fuck it, get an OnlyFans and be rich, whatever, you know, I'm not your boss. Don't, <laughs> do, don't, do what you're don't, gonna do. Don't do it, don't yeah, do it. Yeah, I don't know. Don't do it. Thanks everybody for listening to Life in the World to Come. Sex is healthy, it's natural, it's normal, sex <laughs> workers are workers. <laughs> Uh, you can you can uh, get me out of on, here! You can support us on Patreon by going to <laughs> patreon.com slash life in the world to come. Or is it life? Yeah, no, it's patreon.com slash life in the world to come. Or you, uh, you can send, you can buy us some of our merch at life in the world to come. Uh, send us, uh, send us, send us an email at life in the world to come at gmail.com or on our discord. Um, I'd also like to plug Pantheon on AMC plus. It's pretty good, but, uh, not a lot of people are watching it. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with you. No, it's got nothing to do <laughs> with me, but it's a really great show. And it's one of those shows that got canceled for that, uh, in that whole, like, uh, 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 AMC tax rate uh, uh, write off fiasco. Okay. Um, but they put a second season out, but it's only available in New Zealand. And I just want more people to watch it in America so that there's a demand for it. So I'm I'm plugging. Just uh, get a VPN. I'm pl- I, I, well, it's, I could just get it, but then I can't watch it on my TV. I want to watch it on my TV. Uh, so watch Pantheon. You have to pay twenty dollars for it to buy the season, but it's fucking worth it. It's so good. Watch Pantheon on AMC Plus. And uh, also Pluto on Netflix. That's also a good show. All right, everyone. Uh, (laughs) Thanks for listening. (laughs) And watching. Yeah, man. Um, Watch Pluto on AMC+. Plus. uh, Yeah, sure. No, fuck. That's the the Pluto on Netflix. Pantheon on AMC+. All right. Okay. And and, um, uh, you don't have to do anything more. That's it.